What is the number one tip to have better sex with a man? Hello ladies and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alex Carmont. I'm your French relationship expert, but today I am not your expert. I have the pleasure to meet with Ellen Ito. Hello Ellen, how are you doing? Hello, I'm doing great. How are you doing? Hello. I'm doing very good, thanks so much. So you're the soulful sex coach and the founder of Ecstatica. I was watching your content and it's just a real pleasure for me to have you on my YouTube channel. Thank you. Ladies, you will love this interview, so you have to stay with us. Ellen, can you just introduce a little bit yourself because I know your background, I know everything that you have done, but for the ladies that maybe don't know you yet, can you share a little bit of your experience and who you are, please? Well, as a soulful sex coach, I help people have mutually fulfilling intimate relationships and I sum it up as electrifying sex with a spiritually connected soulmate. Um, I have a master's in East-West psychology, which is like a marriage of Western um, clinical psychology with Eastern spiritual principles. Um, but I'm kind of known for bringing innovative tools into my teaching and my um, individual coaching work with clients. I know it because I am following your content and today I wanna to ask you this question. What is the number one tips if we wanna have better sex with a man? So for all the ladies that wants to enjoy the moment and have good sex, what would be your advice? You actually just said something that's kind of a key. You said enjoy the moment. Okay. So often women are so concerned about being a good lover for their partner that they forget to really enjoy the moment for themselves. And that's what men really want. Men, number one, a man wants a woman who can let go into her sexuality, her sensuality and her passion, because that's how a man gets his primary fulfillment in sex. And that is providing pleasure for the woman. Wow, that's amazing. So it's very important to enjoy the moment and to share it with the men that you love. Okay, that's it. Yeah, and that's let him know, like by How? sounds. I mean, just, oh. you know, like, a lot of people make love very quietly. Others are really noisy. But what I encourage you, if you don't tend to make sounds, is just, it's kind of like do it, fake it till you make it. And I don't mean actually to fake it, but to let your partner know that you're enjoying something by little oohs and ahs or mm, and just because it's feedback. It lets him know that he's on the right track and that you're enjoying it. If you're too internal, he doesn't have an awareness of really what's going on for you. So it's really helpful for a man to let him know that you're enjoying the pleasure. And then that encourages him and it helps him feel more connected to you as a lover. I love what you're saying because as a man, I can tell that what we want is also to give you pleasure. So if we can feel that you enjoy it, we will lose our mind. We just enjoy it and we are just here doing like living the present moment, which is very, very important. I'm so I love this, uh, these tips. So for all the ladies, you know, some of some time I coach ladies, they told me, yes, but Alex, can I do that? Because I am scared that it will feel that I'm strange, that I enjoy too much. So they try to keep the pleasure within themselves. So what you recommend is being yourself, like open up to this man. Is it right? Exactly. And really letting yourself open up, letting yourself find that pleasure and express it. Because like you said, that's a real turn on for a man. How can we do that? If you're a lady and you want to open up, but you don't know how to do it, what would be your advice? Well, one thing is to get out of your head and into your body for lovemaking. I've done actually several years ago, I did a survey, a few thousand people responded and both men and women. And the men, uh, there was an open-ended question. This was not one of the multiple choice, but I had to kind of discern what the themes were in the multiple and the open-ended uh, responses. And there was this scene that men wanted their partners, their female partners to get out of their head and into their bodies for sex. And what was interesting is that the, the primary theme for women is they wanted to get out of their heads and into their bodies for sex. So it seems to be very common. And so one thing I would recommend is rather than, one thing is to kind of breathe, just breathe. And we can talk in a moment about doing that with your partner, but I would say tune into your physical sensations. The way out of your head is 
to actually tune into the body. If your partner's, you know, caressing your, your shoulder, just let your attention go to where his hand is on your shoulder. If he's kissing you, focus on your lips. Whatever he's doing to you, with you, just try to put your attention on that part of your body and just tune into the pleasure. And again, make sounds or movements to express that pleasure. That helps you get out of your head. The minute you try to figure out if you're doing it right, you're in your head and you're not enjoying pleasure and he'll feel it. Yeah, I love this advice. And you know what? I have like interviewed a lot of people. I've coached a lot of people. I have read a lot of books, but I never received this advice just to put really? focus. Yes, it's, it's, it's just so simple, but so powerful in the same time where you put your focus because you can feel it. You know, when I listen to you, I just remember, okay, if I put a focus on my lips, when we kiss each other, I can start feeling it. And this is very, very powerful. You're exactly right. And you know, it actually will increase your own pleasure to focus on the part that your partner is touching or interacting with, or, or your focus might be on the way you're touching your partner, but your physical sensation, not your ideas about it, but just your like where your hand or your lips or other body parts are interacting with your partner's body, focusing on that actually increases your pleasure because, get this, where attention goes, energy flows. And where attention goes, your pleasure will be more um, open to possibility. Something that I've learned also with you is this word, energy. What? Is oh, the energy. word energy. Yes, because basically is when we make connection, when we make love with a man, we are always focused on the end results. Like I want him to come. I want him to have pleasure. I want me to have pleasure. But we don't follow like the energy and the flow of the sexual connection. And you have built something. This is for me a good tool, maybe the number one tool to have better sex with a man. This is special music. Can you tell us a little bit? What is oh, it and yeah. how did you so, find it? Well, I didn't find it. I produced it. But um, <laughs> the way it came about was, oh gosh, a long time ago, I got interested in music that had what they call brainwave entrainment. Basically, when you listen to it, it interacts with you in a way that helps you slow down. Like when you're balancing your finances or deciphering a cooking recipe or writing a report, your, your brain is in a, a faster brainwave state. But if you're starting to go, if, like if you're driving on a long road and you can just like, you start to get ideas, you're, you're, as the road goes, you know, as the scenery goes by, your brain is slowing down. So you might get creative ideas or start to make connections and things that have happened. Or you might be in light meditation. As you go into deep meditation, or you might be asleep and dreaming, your brain is a much slower state, it's called theta. I'm not gonna go into too much science here, yeah. but basically what was discovered is when your brain slows down, you actually have a capacity to connect more deeply with another person. You have a more intuitive, holistic perspective of that person, like their emotional state and, and their pleasure state, or maybe not so pleasure state at the moment. It helps you be aware yeah. of it helps you be more in touch with your own state, your own emotional connection and what's, what's going on with you. It also helps you have more um, sensory awareness. It actually helps you be more aware of your physical touch and sensations and your you know, sights and sounds and so forth, but especially sensory touch. And so I thought, wow, this is great. And so I for myself, I started getting music like this and I tried it out in a workshop I was conducting um, at a large conference, on an international conference on sacred sexuality. So wow. people got really excited about it, except I could only find pieces of music that, that were good for lovemaking and also good for this other purpose that were really short, like three minutes. I'm going like, this is not long enough. And I didn't <laughs> want music that just had these other background noises to come. I just didn't care for that. I wanted music. So I produced this music and I found one of the top three brainwave entrainment experts in the country who are musicians and uh, hired one to help put this music together. We hired musicians. It's real music, like wow. with real instruments. That's amazing. 
And we built in the brainwave entrainment, but then we found this magician, this genius who, when it got to the final stage of mastering the CDs, you have to do a CD first, um, to make really good music uh, before you put it to, to digital. And he put in these dozens and dozens of layers of resonant frequencies. Actually, he'd been working on creating resonant, he'd been working on resonant frequencies for like meditation CDs and such. Mm -hmm. But he also on his own in the background had been working on this, these energy fields to put into the music that connect sexuality, heart, and spirituality. And when we were introduced, we went, oh my God, he had this, all these energy frequencies. I had the music. And so we worked together for another six months, getting these layers of resonant frequencies into the music. And when I say resonant frequencies, when there are sound vibrations, and some of them are not even audible vibrations, mm -hmm. they resonate with the, the cells or the, it, you know, like everything, like if you have a tuning fork or like you've, you know, you've been to a concert, you know, like a deep um, throbbing bass, it makes you want to move and you feel it in your body, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you feel that in your body. Or um, when you hear somebody ring a, a chime or something, it might be, it keeps resonating for a while. So there's other frequencies that are more subtle that resonate literally with the cells in our body. And in this particular music that we put together called Love Unbound, it, um, actually helps open your heart it helps move and circulate your sexual energy which is really one of the keys to having the best sexual pleasure is not just keeping all your sexual energy focused in your genitals but allowing that energy to circulate throughout your whole body to help you have more um, fulfilling sex like a lot of women are used to having their their orgasms and their sexual pleasure like feeling it throughout their bodies but mm men typically don't men typically feel it more in their pelvis and this helps men also experience their sexuality throughout their body more for greater pleasure but it really the feedback i get is it really helps people women especially get out of their head and into their body so it's kind of solving that first point we yeah, talked about first problem yeah and um to be honest i didn't expect the kind of results that we got when we started doing the beta testing for this music. Um, we had people tell us like women who were having orgasms sometimes for the first time or multiple, uh, well, wow. easier orgasms or multiples for the first time. And people were saying they felt more open hearted and connected with their partner. And often they felt more of a spiritual connection with their partner and sometimes sort of themselves with their own sense of, the divine or unity or whatever it is. And, and sometimes men have said they're able to last longer so that they can have, you know, longer sexual session with their partner, enjoy sex more. So, and then more powerful orgasm. So it's kind of a wide variety of responses that I just did not anticipate. So it was pretty exciting when we started discovering that. So I keep getting, you know, feedback and testimonials of that nature. What was, oh, you, you tried it. So what was your experience? With yes, that? I tried it. I tried it both. So I tried it for myself first and then by doing love with my, uh, with my love, uh -huh. with my love, sorry. And I just feel that, you know, as you say, the first, the first impression was this connection. So we are just linked from the head to the heart and mm. to our body. And to be honest with you, ladies, and also with you, Ellen, I'm not someone really spiritual. So it's not something that I will say often. And maybe you know that if you follow my YouTube channel. So it was really surprising me. And for the love, the more intimate part, I just feel that the connection was stronger. So it was difficult to not think about the music because it's new for me, at least. And so I was just thinking that it's a really good tool that we have to experience because the connection is stronger. So if ladies, you want to have better sex with a man, I feel that you can use music and specifically NN music. And I will include the link just right below because this music will change your emotions. I cannot explain what happened within my body. But as you said, when you listen to good music, you shake your head. And here it was more like, okay, I calm down. First, it was like meditation. And then it was connection. And I cannot describe it with words because it's something that you feel more inside you. 
But I would just realize that, yes, this music and everything that I have learned on your website, uh, your videos, I just feel that it makes sense with music and connection because we are more aware of the energy. This is the world. It's all about energy. So I find that it was very interesting to ask you this question because I, I want to know how did you come up with this idea of music, producing music? And so now that I have the answer, I understand the process and I can tell you it's very efficient, meaning it gives a lot of power to men and women because we forget about the, what should I do? Does she like it? It's more like, okay, we know that we are connecting and mm. we can follow the, the music, you know, the pace of the music too. So I found it that it was very, very interested. And as I said, it's not something that I would do often and don't talk about me personally. And also most of the time, it's not, I was not using music. We all made sex when we were young about music or, you know, when there is the music that we like, but this right. music is special because it's kind of another world, you know, there is a new emotion. So I just loved it. Just loved oh, it. I'm so happy to hear that. That's great. <laughs> um, yeah, I tend to call it, you mentioned it. I call it the easy button for better sex. Yeah, the easy button for better sex. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So easy button. <laughs> quick question. Does everyone can use these uh, tips? Can everyone can use this music and make better sex? Is it for everyone? Male, female? Like, is it for everyone? Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, and when you, you get the music, you actually get two versions. You get the music for lovemaking. And then you get the music for everyday use and they sound the same to the ear. They're the same tunes, but a slightly different formula of uh, resonant frequencies. And the reason is, is we found that people wanted to um, enjoy the benefit of opening up their sensuality. Um, but you can't drive with the music for lovemaking. It's too sort of, um, it takes you too much into another state. So yeah. you can, you know, work on the computer or drive or do stuff around the house. And it can, oh, one thing it does, and it continues to do, is it breaks up patterns. Now, we all have patterns of how we respond. We have patterns, you know, useful ones and not so useful ones um, in our life. And uh, one thing this does is it helps break up those self-limiting patterns. And like we have patterns like the sequence we go through when we're making love oftentimes yeah. or the sequence we might even go through like the, the sequence of muscles that we contract when we're moving toward orgasm. And so I think one reason women sometimes have easier orgasms or more multiples is that um, they're kind of breaking up their usual patterns of response that kind of opens them up to new territory I love within it. themselves. I love this advice basically because we can try and new, like have new experiences. So of course our senses are more aware and we can have multiple orgasm, as you said, that's, that's a really good advice. I love it. Thank you, Ellen. Thank and you. so, sorry, I cut you. You want to say something else? Um, not at the moment about the music now. Oh, oh I did. yeah, I'm sorry. I did. I wanted to tell you a little story because I know some of the women watching this, you may be single. And, yeah. um, I got a series of emails from a woman in Canada. And what she said was that she listened to, she was single. She listened to the music for everyday use while she was, mostly when she was driving, commuting to and from work. And she listened to that several times a week. And before she said, she'd been looking for a partner, but she just like, she never got any interest from men. It was really, she felt really alone. And she didn't feel that connected with her sensuality, but you know, that was kind of the way things were. She kind of accepted being alone. But she kept working with this music and she said, after a couple of weeks, she'd be going into the grocery store out and around before, um, you know, out and around town. And men were just starting to interact with her in a way that they never had before. And she was amazed. It's like, whatever the vibe was, she was putting out now. She was more connected with her body. That was sort of um, unconsciously attractive to men. And then the third email she wrote that she was in a wonderful relationship with this 40 something year old man. And they were just like having a wonderful time together. So that's it was like amazing. a sequence of that story. So that was just <laughs> listening to the everyday music, you know? That's amazing. That's amazing. So ladies, even if you are single or in a relationship, if you want to have better sex with a man, you need to click the link below because you have to watch and listen these songs and music. This will just help you so much focus on being yourself. 
connecting with your body and not just be in your mind. So Ellen, I know that you're also doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, that you're still helping people. You have your website, Ecstatica. Do you, can, what can we do if we want to work with you? And if, oh, we want if you to, want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you just go to um, my website, the services link on, you'll see on ecstatica.com. And there's a little video that explains how I work with people and some of the results other people have gotten. And then you just fill out a little application form for a, for a free session. It's, a, it's really a strategy session to see you know, what your needs are and if I feel I can help you meet your needs. And I tend to work with um, individuals who feel like they have some kind of sexual or relationship wounding or even trauma that's getting in the way of them having the most fulfilling love life or getting a partner. And um, I also work with couples who want to enhance their relationship. And I do work with other innovative tools, not necessarily the music, but I work with um, color and eye movement and uh, light hypnosis tools and some regression work to help people get in touch with what these problems are and we kind of like pull them out by the roots like we like weeds by the roots mm -hmm. and then create new um, habits and patterns going forward habits and patterns including internal habits and patterns and and self-talk so that you can move forward with um as a new, in a new way, to open to all the, the richness and love that you deserve in life. Exactly. This is what you deserve, ladies. So it's time for you to click the link below, go visit the website, also watch and listen, sorry, to the music because simple tools can sometimes really help you be yourself. And I just can tell you that LN content is just amazing and you will love it. You can trust me, ladies. Ellen, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I know that you're really, really busy and you took some time from me. So thanks so much one more time. Thank and, you so uh, much for having me here. And um, the music can be found at musicforbettersex.com, which is different than the website that Alex uh, already so made. I will include all the links just thank right you. below. Great. Put all the info to make sure that you can click and just visit the best website. Thank you so wow. much, Elena. I really appreciate it. Ladies, it's time for you to leave a comment just right below. If you have any question, make sure that you give us a like and visit LN website, both wow. our website, Ecstatica and Music for Better Sex. I will see you soon, ladies. Take care. Bye-bye, Ellen. Bye-bye.